In this video, we're going to look at the discriminant of a quadratic equation. The discriminant is calculated by doing b squared minus 4ac. And if it's greater than 0, then you have two real and distinct roots, so where it crosses the x-axis twice. If it's equal to 0, you have one real repeated root, or two equal real roots, i.e. where it just touches the x-axis. And when b squared minus 4ac, your discriminant is less than 0, you have no real roots, i.e. does not cross the x-axis. So let's do a couple of examples. So find the nature of the roots for the following quadratic equation. So we're going to work out the discriminant for both and then decide whether what condition we have. So first one, what I would always write down first is what all my different letters are. So in this case, I've got A is 5, B is negative 20, put that in a bracket, and C is 20. So I'm going to have B squared minus 4AC. So b squared, well, that's going to be minus 20 in brackets squared, minus 4 times, well, a is 5 times 20. Let's do that. Um, 20 squared is 400, so negative 20 squared must also be 400. Minus 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 20 is 400. 400 take away 400 is 0. So in this case, looking up at the top, here it is here, I've got one real repeated root. Okay. And I would need to make sure I'd write a comment like I have at the bottom. As b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, then one real repeated root. Right, let's try. Let's go on to the uh, second example here. So the first thing I want to do is uh, write out what all the values are. So we're going to have uh, a is equal to negative 2, b is equal to 6, and c is equal to 10. So putting that into our discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, we're going to have 6 squared, because that's b minus 4 times a, well that's negative 2, and then c, which is 10. So let's do that. 6 squared is 36. Negative 4 times negative 2 is, is positive 8. Times by 10 would be 80. So we can do that sum. That's 116. So which uh, case have we got up here? Well, we've got the case that's here. b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. Therefore, we have two real and distinct roots. And we'd have to write the following statement. As b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, then two real and distinct roots. 